Well, let's talk now to Piotr Kaczynski, who's senior expert at the Bronislav Geromek Foundation. He's in Warsaw. Welcome to the program. Uh, this war has really seen a huge turnaround for Poland's relationships with other Western powers, hasn't it? Um, hello, welcome. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, yes, Poland's position has basically changed between January and March completely, almost completely, uh, from being one of the countries in the back fighting for the rule of law to one of the countries in the or the, on the uh, forefront to uh, to serve, safeguard democracy in Europe. Uh, so that's a, quite a change. And given where it is in the world, how important is it for uh, the NATO response to have Poland on side? and use its perspective as a country that's had hostilities with Russia in the past? Uh, it's absolutely crucial. On the one hand, uh, Poland and the Baltic states and uh, some of uh, Central Eastern European countries as well as Nordic countries have been advocating uh, that Russia is a rogue state uh, before it turned into a terrorist state and Vladimir Putin turned into a war criminal. Um, and uh, this was not something that, uh, that many of uh, Western European or, or American allies wanted to hear for many years. So that's uh, the perspective uh, that, uh, that prevailed, the perspective of Central Europe and, uh, and Baltic countries um, on how to perceive Russia. And the second relevance is, of course, uh, being at the eastern flank of NATO. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a borderland between NATO and, uh, if we use Biden's language, uh, autocratic regimes. Belarus is just on the other side. And then Russia, of course. So, uh, so defending uh, NATO borders uh, in Poland, in the Baltic states, in Romania, is something that is of, uh, of number one priority uh, for the U.S. Uh, and Washington. And Poland has also responded by taking in the bulk of the refugees from Ukraine, which is another turnaround on its previous stance. Absolutely. Only a year ago, we had, uh, we had um, the situation with Belarus where there were hundreds and thousands of, uh, of refugees and migrants uh, crossing illegally from uh, Belarus into Poland. And the response of the Polish government was to build a wall. Um, this time around, it's a completely different response. Uh, we, have, uh, we have received over 2.2 million refugees from Ukraine into Polish uh, lands, and some of them moved on, over 200,000, for example, into Germany already. So, uh, so we see that there is a huge influx and a welcome the welcome that the Ukrainian refugees uh, receive in Polish towns and cities is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, this has been incredible only where I am right now, where President Biden is, that is city of Warsaw. A city of 2 million people has welcomed 300,000 uh, people over, over last month alone. So new inhabitants, if you like. And so you can imagine that it stretches the capacities of, of uh, local government and cities. Um, but uh, but this is this continues to be a very welcome uh, environment for the Ukrainian refugees, which is in a way surprising to where we've been a year ago, or what was the response of the Polish government uh, to the migrant crisis in 2015, uh, when the Syrians, um, for example, were um, in millions coming into Europe, and uh, and Poland shut down its doors completely, did not receive a single refugee from Syria. Uh, and uh, then there were some very nasty language being used against the refugees. The same people today take, uh, tell a completely different story. So on the back of previous tensions, how do you see Poland's relationship with other NATO members developing going forward? Uh, this will be a very important development and relationship building because, uh, for example, with Washington, so within NATO, very important relationship, uh, with President Biden, um, uh, administration, the, the Polish government was quite, uh, you know, cold. It was cold relationships. They, they, they didn't have as good relationship as they used to have with uh, under President Trump. Uh, now this changes a lot. Uh, and some people here in Warsaw talk about Poland being new Germany uh, in the sense uh, of being the new border land uh, with, uh, with the, with the uh, counterpart in the east. Uh, and uh, America might be investing a lot into Polish democracy in the future, which which might uh, which which might uh, have a very important effect on on the political developments inside uh, Poland. As for the EU, uh, they, there is still outstanding problems uh, with the rule of law, uh, with the respect of minorities, and uh, the Brussels institutions um, 
are kind of negotiating with the Warsaw government uh, who is going to blink first. Uh, will the Polish government blink first uh, to, for example, defreeze big, big money that is supposed to be coming Polish way uh, for the recovery, post-COVID recovery, uh, that is within the wider European scheme of things. So, uh, so we'll see what will happen, uh, whether the Polish government will blink on uh, the rule of law or not. I mean, we've seen so far that it's not blinking, and, uh, and it's quite to the contrary. On the rule of law problems, it's been hardening its stance only a few weeks ago, uh, there was a ruling from the Polish so-called Constitutional Court, uh, which adopted a similar uh, resolution on uh, on the European Human Rights uh, Court uh, as the Russians have before they, they their withdrawal uh, from the Council of Europe. Mm. So this is something uh, very important uh, to look at, that the Polish rule of law situation is deteriorating. Okay, Piotr Kaczynski, great to get your thoughts today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.